You, uh, come again. Your Majesty. Think ye that uh, subjects having the power may resist their princes? If princes exceed their bounds, madam, they may be resisted even by power. <laughs> For there is neither greater honour nor greater obedience than God hath commanded to be given unto father and mother. Well then, I perceive that my subjects shall obey you and not me. They shall do what they want and not what I command. And so must I be subject to them and not they to me. God forbid that ever I command anyone to obey me. Or oh, further than that, to set subjects at liberty to do what pleaseth them. No, my travail is that both kings and subjects obey God. For it is he that subjects people under princes and causes obedience to be given unto them. Think not, madam, that wrong is done you when ye are willed to be subject to God. <coughs> yea, God craves of kings that be foster fathers to his church and commands queens be nurses to his people. This objection, madam, unto God and unto his troubled church is the greatest dignity that flesh can attain upon the face of the earth, for it shall carry them to everlasting glory. Yea, but ye are not of the kick that I will nourish. I will defend the kirk of Rome, for it is, I think, the true kirk of God. Your will, madam, is no reason. Neither doth a thought make that Roman harlot to be the true and immaculate spouse of Jesus Christ. Wonder not, madam, that I call Rome a harlot, for that church is altogether polluted with all kinds of spiritual fornication, as in manners, as well in doctrines. Yes, madam, I give myself to prove that the church of the Jews which crucified Christ Jesus was not so far degenerate. My conscience is not so. Conscience, madam, requireth knowledge, and right knowledge I fear you have none. But, uh... I have both earned and read. Madam, so did the Jews, both heard and read both the law and the prophets, mm -hmm. and heard the same interpreted in their own manner. Ye interpret the scriptures in one another, and they in another. Whom shall I believe? Who shall be judge? Ye shall believe God, who speaketh plainly in his word. And further than that, ye shall believe neither the one nor the other. The word of God is plain in itself. Ye are too hard for me. But if they were here, whom I have heard, they would answer you. Madam, would to God the learnedest papist in Europe, and he that ye would best believe were present with your majesty to sustain the argument, and that ye would patiently abide to hear the matter reason to the end, then I have no doubt that ye would hear the vanity of the papistical religion, and how little ground it hath within the word of God. Well, ye may perchance get that sooner than ye believe. Play on.